I bought a new iPad and uh, since the old one was sitting at home for quite some time so the question, the question came what to do with the old one so not many things can be done with it because many applications do not work on it anymore and even um, the web pages are not loading so what can be what can be done with it so and I decided to use it as a panel to control my home assistant automations if you want to use your old iPad as a control panel for home assistant so what you can do you can go to the settings then uh, I recommend to uh, select uh, uh, use uh, the button the switch button for lock um, rotation then go to accessibility uh, guided access turn it on ideally if that um, iPad would uh, work with a uh, home assistant uh, original web page I would probably not don't need to do much but uh, unfortunately uh, the old iPad doesn't work uh, with Home Assistant and I had to use uh, uh, an application called App Demon and uh, that App Demon is connected to Home Assistant and um, it runs a web page which can be accessed uh, using um, the kiosk application uh, so in, um, in kiosk application I entered the address of the um, the IP address of the app daemon and uh, of course you need to change uh, the IP address to your to your address to your local address and um, main is in the uh, name of uh, the page that is my main dashboard and skin there are several options and uh, I prefer uh, this uh, specific skin but uh, of course it is um, up to you what to choose and um, but this this uh, video is not about um, not about uh, app daemon tutorial uh, it's more like my experience how to use this specific iPad so and um, once everything is set um, I run the kiosk and um, here you see um, the page uh, my main dashboard and there are a couple more dashboards uh, like this one and this one this all is configured in the uh, in the app daemon configuration I made this uh, frame for the iPad uh, it is made of cherry so what it has it has um, a hole for the um, power connector it has this bump to hold uh, the iPad also has two holes one is for camera and another for the to, to press the home button the the camera hole is not actually uh, needed except so I'm not going to use it for, uh, as a camera but uh, the camera is needed to adjust brightness uh, of the screen so basically here it goes so the um, the connector side goes to the to, uh, to the connector hole and uh, this bump holds the other part of the um, um, of a iPad, and then just um, and connect the. Uh, I need to uh, press it to connect. Here, here we go. So, and basically. So this way, you don't need any uh, screws to mount the um, iPad, and um, this is supposed to go to the power supply. Let's connect. To power the iPad, I installed a power outlet 
these two USB sockets. The pad is going to be attached to the wall by using the Velcro stickers. Oop. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, now we need to turn it on, so just pressing the home button. Here it is. And uh, this button is to return to home as well as this one is to exit the kiosk mode but uh, you can disable this button I also set up demons screen in two minutes so if um, nothing is pressed then the screen is going to dim uh, to save uh, energy and uh, also have a uh, 90 second to go to the main screen which is uh, given in the um, in this line okay let's start it again so the screen is dimmed and if I press anywhere so it just uh, starts uh, getting brighter. Let's check if the button works. So surveillance. Some of my cameras. Uh, weather. This is what is outside. And uh, also show some heat map and uh, And uh, some cameras, web cameras, also temperature and um, temperature, humidity, and other stuff in in home and uh, outside. Uh, main menu. Let's turn on Beatles.